Yes. 909. We'll talk to Scott Sherman here in just a minute. But uh, Casey Joyce in for the uh, all day today. And uh, Christine Byers, she's got the wood front page above the fold of her hometown newspaper, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Good morning, Christine Byers. Good morning, McGraw. Thanks for uh, joining us once again. You broke this story late yesterday afternoon. You've been following this police board uh, crime lab story from the very beginning. Uh, Fill us in on this. Greg Sansone resigned yesterday? He resigned actually um, Wednesday uh, is when the letter was dated. Um, And he basically said that the reason that he needed to resign was because Charlie Dooley had proposed passing um, a new ordinance to clarify and hold contractors, um, subcontractors under the same ethical guidelines as contractors are held because um, in Pat Reddington, who is the county counselor's opinion, the ordinance, uh, the charter, I'm sorry, rather, is not, um, does not apply to subcontractors. So Gregory Sansone instead of giving up the contract, gave up his space on the police board? Correct. Okay. Uh, Now, there's a whole lot of confusion as to whose um, terms were expired. and Was his term expiring? Was he, how much longer did he have on his current term? Well, that's an interesting question because, uh, in actuality, all of the county police board members' terms are expired. Um, They just... um, have been allowed to continue to serve um, beyond, well beyond the, their um, their terms. So basically, um, his was set to expire in November. However, um, he's been on the board for six years, and um, that's well beyond the um, three or four year terms that they're that they're initially appointed to. So the, the way that the, the charter is written is that if they if their terms expire, they cannot be replaced until um, a, a council ratifies another nominee. So essentially, it gives the executive the power to um, basically tell someone with an expired term, um, you know, I'm going to nominate someone to replace you. And um, at any point in time, that can happen, af- you know, beyond the term of your, so, uh, right. of so, your appointment. So they stay there until Dooley decides to name their replacement. Exactly. Yeah. Now, Dave Spence, who ran for governor, uh, is going to take his place. It, it was interesting. It's clearly this this was orchestrated, right? Well, that's a good question. Uh, the timing is certainly curious, given that um, all this has been going on. But in the resignation letter that uh, Mr. Sansone submitted, it doesn't um, at all give any indication that he's doing this because questions have been raised. He says that he's doing it simply because Mr. Dooley has proposed a new ordinance that would, in his opinion, directly affect him because he is a subcontractor on a county project. Right. All right. Now, this other guy, Fr- uh, Floyd Warman, who resigned a couple weeks ago, which I guess sort of started this all off, and in your newspaper you guys reported um, that in his resignation letter he, somebody misspelled his name. <laughs> so, twice. Uh, twice misspelled his name. Did they at least spell it incorrectly? The same way, or was it spelled yeah. two different ways? Okay, so it was spelled incorrectly the same way twice. Um, yes. Very Very consistent. He resigned. Nobody knows why he resigned, but they also put a new person in his place on the board as well yesterday, right? Correct. Yesterday, uh, uh, Mr. Dooley nominated the Reverend Freddie Clark to replace uh, Mr. Warman, who resigned rather abruptly um, earlier this month. And uh, Reverend Clark is a uh, pastor of a church in North County, um, a Baptist church, Shalom Church. Um, he was uh, one of the founders back in the early 90s. Um, and so he's been named, nominated as, as a replacement for Mr. Warman. So where does this, this story go from here? What's next, Christine Byers? Well, what's next is um, Mr. Dooley has asked um, the county council chair, chairman, to expedite a meeting um, for next week, Tuesday evening, before the council meeting. Um, he would like her to basically 
schedule a special meeting in which the nominees can be um, vetted by the county council and interviewed, essentially, and then um, start the uh, appointment process. Um, it doesn't take effect immediately by any means. Um, the, the council has to vote. There's discussion. Uh, the last, the the most recent member who was appointed, um, Roland Corvington, he said that the process took about a month before he was actually seated. Um, and so also next Tuesday is um, the St. Louis County Police, regularly scheduled St. Louis County Police Board meeting. So at that meeting, there will only be three members, which is still enough to function. It's a quorum. So there will be Ray Wagner, Roland Corvington, and John Saraceno. And, but, but those uh, members, their terms have also expired, correct? Correct. Yeah, like I said, there all of the um, appointees on this board are serving on expired terms. So again, that gives the county executive the power to um, Re- replace them pull whenever them he wants off the board whenever he chooses to name a replacement for them. Yeah. The, the the sort of check and balance there, though, is that the county council has to um, vote to affirm the nominees first before the members can be replaced. Yeah, interesting. Late yesterday, Christine Byers at uh, posted stltoday.com is now on the front page of the paper today that uh, Gregory Sansone, who is involved in this crime lab story, resigns, and Dave Spence, formerly uh, ran for governor here, uh, is uh, taking his place on the county police board. Christine Byers, thanks for coming in. Thanks for making sense of it for us, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you down the road. Thanks, McGraw. You got